more number of phagocytosing um, activity. So about 100 phagocytosis before the macrophage becomes a victim of its own digestive enzymes. Then the other very interesting thing is every time a macrophage causes phagocytosis, every time it eats something, normally it would extrude some chemical substances as well. These chemical substances would become, these are the cyt cytokines coming from the macrophages, these will become the chemotactic factors. So, these factors would damage the macrophage itself as well. So, with every phagocytosis, there is some damage to the macrophage itself. So, up to a hundred phagocytosis in the macrophage will be out of commission. It would be dead as well. So, that is how the macrophage phagocytosis occurs and these are the qualities of the phagocytosis. Once the phagocytos phagocytosis has occurred and we have formed a phagosome. What is a phagosome? We talked from in the, in the neutrophils, a phagosome is really a digestive product, sorry, a eaten up product. It has a bacteria sitting inside. Remember we talked about it, the bacteria is thinking that he is being offered or it is being offered funny little jacuzzi tub and it is going to have fun in there and soon some lysosomes are going to appear, they are going to connect here and then the lysosomal enzymes are going to be spilling into this and these are going to be digesting the bacteria or the pathogen present. That is, so this combination of a phagosome and a lysosome is called phagolysosome, lysosome, this is called phagolysosome or a digestive vacuole and that causes the pathogens to be digested away. Now, do we know what enzymes are present here? So, remember these two things, do not forget these two mark them somewhere, keep them in your copy, in your notebook. The lysosomes of a, f of a macrophage does not have myeloperoxidases. Remember in case of the neutrophils, we talked about it that neutrophils have reactive oxygen species, they can form the reactive oxygen species. So, we have NADPH, NADPH oxidase enzyme which helps making the oxygen radicals. Then we had superoxide dismutase which helps making H2O2 and then we have myeloperoxidase which helps make the hypochloric acid HOCl. This myeloperoxidase, this thing which gives a green color to the neutrophil, remember the pus which has green color is a neutrophil and why is it green? because it has myeloperoxidase, myeloperoxidase has green color to it. So, that myeloperoxidase enzyme is not present, is not present in the lysosomes of a macrophage. So, macrophage cannot function as complete as a neutrophil does. That is one very, very important thing. The other thing is, on the other hand, macrophage has gotten its own little weapon. What is that weapon? It has the lipases which are not present in the neutrophil. So, that can be a question, right? In the USMLE or in the other ways, so that can be a problem to solve in case of your medical practice. Lipases are present in the macrophage. That is why tuberculosis bacterium is actually taken care of inside the macrophages because they've gotten the lipases which can break down the thick lipid membrane of the mycobacterium tuberculosis. On the other hand, these lipases are not present in the neutrophils, so they cannot handle it. So, myeloperoxidases are present in the neutrophil, lipases are not present in the neutrophil. So, that is a, um, a way that these things work. So, now let's see, phagosome has gotten in lysosome has been fused, phagolysosome is formed, the bacteria is going to be broken down. When the bacteria or the pathogen is broken down, it keeps getting chopped up. It's like, you know, you put that bacteria or the, or the substance on a chopping block and you keep chop, 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 chop and keep breaking it up. It, and what happens is that the macrophage inside here has MIC class 2. Remember MIC class 2? 
these are MHC class 2 proteins are present only on the antigen presentation cells APCs professional APCs and there are just three professional APCs who are these three dendritic cells macrophages and B cells so we're talking macrophages the very very important one the dendritic cell and B cells we'll talk later so the all of these professional APCs have gotten MHC2 in them remember all nucleated cells have gotten MHC1 and professional APCs have gotten MHC2 MHC2 proteins are present in here we'll talk about that in the later uh, lectures that how elaborate these are and how do they function but the important thing to understand is that this pathogen will be now broken up by the digestive enzymes the pieces of the pathogen are going to be tried on the MHC2 and the pathogen will be kept on getting broken until the pieces fit on the MHC2 so we'll break up the pathogen we'll try to attach it break up the pathogen try to attach it to the MHC2 there will be a time when the pathogen pieces have become small enough that they can be attached to the MHC2 once they are attached to the MHC2 that is when the MHC2 will be recycled above on the surface of the macrophage and that is how the antigen presentation will be present on the macrophage this is a very important thing to note here very important thing to note here this MHC2 is really important why is it important remember what is macrophage holding what is he holding what is this cell holding it is saying hey I got an antigen right well that antigen is also part of the bacteria so how will our cells how will our immune cells differentiate between the antigen being held by the macrophage or antigen present on the surface of a bacteria the difference is MIC2 if a cell immune cell comes and encounters this antigen it is going to try to see if that antigen is present in combination of MHC2 if it is present in combination with MHC2 then that will mean it is a professional APC offering the antigen these immune cells these immune cells for example T cells or natural killer cells or cytotoxic T cells these will not kill the macrophage these will not think that the macrophage has the antigen or macrophage itself is a pathogen instead they would know that macrophage is holding an antigen on the MIC2 and they would recognize that on the other hand on the other hand if this was actually a pathogen and these guys would recognize a part of the pathogen as the antigen and they would try to see if there is an MIC2 and there will be no MIC2 they will know that this guy is a pathogen and they would try to kill it so remember the MIC2 is not just a presentation system it is a very important system to let the immune system cells know that a macrophage is our own cell it's our body it is our part it is helping us instead of being a antigen otherwise a macrophage coated with the antigen is going to get killed so remember this is very important MHC2 has a function to perform and that function is it allows the recognition this is like an ID card for the other cells to say hey I am amongst you I'm one of you so anyways we were talking about the phagocytosis so phagocytosis occurred the bacteria got broken up and then the antigen presentation occurs so these are the two functions of the macrophages now if we go to the cytokine secretion so let's very quickly talk about the cytokine, cytokine secretion in another I'll take a five minutes break and we'll we'll start with the cytokines thank you <laughs>